pictures started with my grandfather's scrapbook. And uh, uh, when, when we first had them here, I mean, they were in boxes, but as we started losing people, it was just kind of my way of keeping this thing alive because to me, this company is all about what they did. You know, um, our clientele is mainly homeowners, you know, people my age who, uh, they come in and they like the old style of business and when they come back here, I think they can relate to all these pictures. In fact, um, one man who was about uh, in his 90s looked at my father's baseball pictures when he played in the Chinese League and said, I was a ball boy on that team. He sat down, had a cup of coffee, and later on he brought back his scrapbook to show me of all the baseball stars who came through here. that played against Joe DiMaggio's baseball team in 47. Uh, after the game, my dad gave him an Aloha shirt. And my dad always showed us this thank you note from Joe DiMaggio. I was surfing the, the web and a Aloha shirt collector said, this is a special shirt. It used to be owned by Joe DiMaggio. Compelling evidence of this is there's a laundry tag on this with his name on it. After the earthquake of 88 or 89, it was donated with a whole truckload of goods by Joe DiMaggio because he had to get it out of his garage. It went to his friend's house where it sat for, for 20 years and his friend took it to a thrift shop. It just so happened that an Aloha shirt collector was there and recognized this is one of the shirts that Wong Strapery made. We made them out of scraps and we made the heaviest Aloha shirts. Um, they called these jacket shirts. 